the things that I loved about the stories is that they have this kind of creepy, um, very like suspenseful, almost claustrophobic in some of them feeling to them, which is so powerful as a reader to experience. How about at the awards that night when your names were announced and they said, and the winner is the National Book Award goes to, and it was your book. What was the first thing that went through your mind? I was not prepared for that. I didn't know where my notes were. So if you see the video, it's like, but really, it's like one minute and a half. Just looking for my notes. It was like, where is my note? Where are my notes? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think my mind went blank. I remember getting up there and and the first thing I said was, this is crazy. And that's kind of the thing that I was thinking the whole time we walked up to the stage was, this is crazy. What language do you dream in? I dream in both Spanish and English. And I have a lot of dreams about language specifically. So my anxiety dreams oftentimes have to do with not being able to find the right word or having forgotten the language. <laughs> um, and then I, I also have dreams where I'm teaching languages or learning a new one. Samantha, how about you? I absolutely dream in Spanish. <laughs> yeah. I, um, I have been living for many, many years by now in Germany, but my German is not very good. Uh, so, and I still think and write and work in Spanish. So my language is absolutely Spanish. What do you think of as your superpower uh, and how do you use it in your writing? I think maybe it would be my concentration. So that's one thing. And then maybe the other thing would be just curiosity. I think mine would be uh, I'm in real life. I'm very, very absent minded, maybe in fiction also. And um, so I'm always like a little bit lost, a little bit confused. Uh, and I think that. It could be hard for life, for everyday life, but for fiction it's very, very useful. People often think that writers are people who have a way with words. But I think they're people who question words, who distrust them, and who demand more from them. Writers are people who struggle with words, and so are translators. I always say that any act of communication is an act of translation. And I've learned so much from the ways my writers communicate and the ways that they translate. I'm grateful to Samantha for continually demonstrating the power words have to invoke. And I'm also grateful to her for trusting me with translating, with communicating her work. I'm mostly a short story writer, so I will be going to be very short. <laughs> I was uh, thinking today um, that uh, there are so many moments uh, in life when uh, words can be very tricky and misleading and even harmful. Um, and we need to be very careful about this. Uh, but then um, someone calls you from back home and says, even if you have to dress up tonight, make sure you don't get called. Keep warm, be happy, enjoy it. And then words become a gift and a privilege. <laughs>